Disturbing problem now popping up in Portland. Toddlers overdosing on fentanyl. Police tell us they've responded to three incidents in just the past 10 days. Lisa Balick digging deeper to find out much more about this troubling trend live now from downtown Portland. This is eye opening and shocking, Lisa. Yeah, it is, and police are not saying a whole lot. In fact, they won't even tell us the conditions of these little ones, even if they survive, because they say it's an active investigation. Within the past 10 days in Portland, three separate incidents where two children, both age one, and a third child, age three, ingested fentanyl at their homes. I can't comment on the investigations that we're doing, but, but again, um, because children's bodies are small, even very small amounts of residue can kill. A one-year-old in Southeast in the Pleasant Valley neighborhood. Another one-year-old at a home in the Argay Terrace neighborhood in Northeast. The third was a three-year-old in the Powellhurst Gilbert neighborhood. This all happened between June 15th and June 25th. I asked police for more details. Did the toddler survive? But police won't reveal much, saying it's an active investigation. Part of our investigation is going to be, uh, you know, giving these folks an opportunity to tell us what happened. And... In my experience as a police officer, uh, gathering more information can change charges, so I, I don't know what we're going to end up doing with these. But police say they've never seen what they are calling a trend like this. They're clearly frustrated by what they believe is a reason for the spike in fentanyl overdoses. And more than 135 overdose deaths so far this year in Portland, mostly from fentanyl use. Ballot measure 110, uh, decriminalizing drugs. Uh, small quantities of drugs has made it harder for us to pursue our investigations. It's made it harder for us to get informants to get into drug networks. It's also made it harder for us to force people into drug treatment. Police intend to get the word out on the street about the toddler overdoses to urge drug users to keep the drugs and paraphernalia secured off of floors, tabletops, counters, places where little ones grab the pills, thinking they're candy. And again, keep in mind, these are the littlest kids. These are not older kids who are getting the medication from a friend. These are little ones grabbing it and having clearly too much incredible access to something that can be so deadly. Back to you.